Written in 1910, Vaughan Williams' much-loved Fantasia is a work that faces in two directions. With the theme by the Elizabethan composer Thomas Tallis, it's the English Renaissance made modern. Well, the Fantasia was conceived for a specific place, Gloucester Cathedral, which Vaughan Williams had visited and loved since childhood. It's for a double string orchestra, plus an additional nine string ensemble, which is playing tonight high up here in the Royal Albert Hall Gallery. And Vaughan Williams himself had conducted that first performance. Here's his wife, Ursula, in 1999, and the composer, Herbert Howells, remembering that occasion. Well, he was very thrilled to be asked to do a piece for Gloucester Cathedral, and he thought the sound would be right. I think he felt it was all the things he'd known about and heard about, and was related to his hymn books, related to his folk song collecting, and he did it exactly as he thought it would be. I saw at the performance for the first time in my life the composer Ray Vaughan Williams looking magnificent, dark hair, clear-cut features, then the music, filling the sounds with gravely passionate phrases and probably becoming, in the moment of its performance, a great conundrum to a large part of that audience. So that one can say at the end it probably um, confused more than it converted. Herbert Howells speaking in 1970. And after that performance, he and Ivor Gurney were so effective they spent a sleepless night pounding the streets of Gloucester. For young composers like them, the Fantasia was a revelation. Far from the pomp and circumstance of British Empire music, Vaughan Williams had a truly English music of the people in his sights. <laughs>